Hi, here I have an Acer all-in-one PC and the problem with this one, the customer said it's not turning on all of a sudden. This is Acer all-in-one Z22 780 and I'll show you how to disassemble this PC. One, two, three screws to be removed and then and then you have to take off this plastic cover right here with a prying tool and then there are more screws to remove after removing screws it will be really easy to take off this back panel I'll show you okay I'm just using a flathead screwdriver to pry up this plastic cover and it slides out like this I don't know if you can see that but I see four screws one two three four Okay, let me remove these screws. Yeah, it does come out like this. One, two, three, four screws to remove before you take it off. Now we gotta remove one, two, three screws from the bottom. Okay, now what you gotta do is you have to use a thin plastic prying tool and you have to start prying up. Okay, the back cover is off. Now it reveals everything in this all-in-one PC. We have hard drive and we have a main board and there's a shield over the main board and cooling fan, DVD drive. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to remove the memory and the CMOS battery from this computer and leave it for like 10 to 20 seconds and then I'll try to reinstall the battery and the memory. After that, I'll try to connect the power cord and I'll turn it on to see if it makes any difference. I think I need to take off this metal shield to access the motherboard. I see some screws. One, two, three, four, five, six in total. Let me remove them. Okay, it just comes off. Just lift up the metal shield and we have rebuilt the motherboard. Okay, let me try to remove the RAMs. Let me try to remove the CMOS battery. It just pops out like that. And I'm going to leave it for like more than 20 seconds and after that I'll try to reinstall the battery and the RAM the reason I'm doing this is because by removing the CMOS battery it resets your uh, BIOS and sometimes by resetting the BIOS we can fix computers like this one which does not turn on does nothing when I press the power button I'm just trying the basic stuff first to troubleshoot this issue Okay, I'll reinstall the battery. I am reinstalling the RAM. Okay, now let me connect the power cord to it to see if it works. Okay, power cord connected. Oh, I see LED light and I see the fan is spinning, which I didn't see before. Let me see, it turns on. Okay, good news is I see the LED light in the front. That's a good sign. Okay, I heard some beep. Yeah, I see Acer logo and it is turning on. Well, basically what we did was we just did reset the BIOS by removing the CMOS battery for more than 10 seconds. So if any of you have the same problem on this Acer all-in-one PC, Try to remove the CMOS battery 
and leave it for like more than 10 or 20 seconds reinstall the battery and that should reset the BIOS and that's what made this computer working again all right thank you for watching if you have any questions leave comments i'll do my best to answer your question bye